Hey, what's up you guys? It's Connor and today I'm going to be talking about Far World by J. Scott Savage. So Far World is a little bit hard to describe. It's a middle grade fantasy novel that has two parallel worlds. There's Earth and then there's Far World. Earth is the home of Marcus Kanenas, which is funny because Kanenas means nobody. So his name is Marcus Nobody. At the beginning of the book, Marcus is having a really hard time. He's getting bullied. He's not enjoying his life very much and then he starts to notice that there's these people kind of lurking around and he doesn't really know what's going on and they are kind of sketching him out a little bit and then he is pulled into another world called Far World where he meets a character named Kaija and in Far World there are these things called elementals and there is elemental magic and so everyone can do a certain amount of elemental magic which is water, fire, earth, and air. And the story really starts off from there because they're on the run from this dark circle who is trying to destroy both worlds and then there is a prophecy about Marcus and just everything goes crazy. <laughs> So I think one of the best things that I liked about this novel was the main characters. Marcus is disabled, he is in a wheelchair at the beginning of the first book, and he can't do a lot of the things that other people can do, and he has to just deal with it. Like, it's not gonna get better, and he has to just figure out how to accomplish things just as well as everyone else while he's in this wheelchair, and he's still gonna try to be the hero of this story, even though his legs are just not, you know, normal functioning. Also, Kaija doesn't have any magic in a world where there is magic, and so it's kind of cool that both characters are in their own ways disabled. Marcus is physically disabled, and Kaija is magically disabled, and I like that they're the underdog characters, and they're still fighting for what's right, and they still want to make the world a better place, and obviously save the world. Marcus and Kaija are just really easy to love. I think they have a really good relationship, and they're just such kind people that I think that middle grade readers that would be reading this series would really take away from these books those kinds of friendships and those kinds of ways of dealing with things and, and the morals that these two characters have. Obviously, I love magic, and so I think that the elemental things is really cool. I really like elemental magic. I don't feel like I've read about it too much. I've read the two first books in the Magisterium series by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, but I don't think I've read too many books where the magic system is just based off elements, so I really like seeing that. I really thought it was well done. I liked the fact that the magic system is personified in these different characters, which is the water elementals, land elementals, air elementals, and fire elementals. I just think that their different personalities and the way that their cultures are are really interesting as well. It just adds another layer to the story which was really interesting and fun to read about. The writing is so good that you just fall into the story. It's, there's no like awkward transition trying to get used to his writing style. It's just you just get straight into it and you don't have any hard time of trying to figure out what's going on. I really think the writing was conducive to the type of story that J. Scott Savage was trying to tell. Also in terms of plot, I think that it was sometimes predictable but a lot of the times it wasn't and so sometimes I thought the story was going in a certain direction and then it would just totally take a random change and I really liked seeing that and I really thought that it was keeping me on my toes and I think that the ending of the book was also not as predictable as you would think with normal middle grade so I really enjoyed that aspect of the series and so two thumbs up for that. One of my first videos on this channel was actually a book review of this book. You cannot see it anymore because I took it down. But one of the things that really made me want to read this series was after I did that review, J. Scott Savage commented on it and was like, oh my gosh, thanks for reading my book. And he has like a really nice and awesome online presence. When I started reading this book, he actually tweeted at me and was like, oh, I hope you enjoy it. And it was just really cool to see that this author is actually involved in people reading his book and, and that he appreciates it. And you can actually see that on a one-to-one -one basis. Although he does not not comment on Goodreads reviews, which is one of those things that people really hate, so you don't have to worry about him getting involved on Goodreads. He he doesn't he doesn't go into that area, but I liked that he commented on that one video and that he tweeted at me. I thought that was really cool. So overall, I really did enjoy this series, obviously, with the way that I've been talking about it. I think I gave the first book four stars, the second book I think I gave it four stars as well. The third book was a five star book for me. So great. I really loved that one. And then the last one was also far four stars. So I think overall the series ended up being a four star series for me, but it's one that I actually really recommend because I think that everyone would really enjoy it. And I also like the fact that the author was so passionate about the series that he ended up self-publishing the last book to get the rest of the series out for his viewers. These three were published by Shadow Mountain Press, and then the fourth one was not actually going to be published, and he decided to self-publish it, which was totally awesome, and I definitely support that because I really wanted to know the ending of 
of the story. So I'm glad that all of these books are now out. And it's just nice to see how much J. Scott Savage loves this series, that he was so committed that he was willing to self-publish the last book. So that's really my review for this series. I just really liked it and I hope that you guys will check it out. I'm going to leave a link to the book trailer down below so you can see that if you would like to. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!